Snow country is beautiful, but it can be deadly. 37 people died last year in avalanches in the U.S. Avalanche forecasters routinely give backcountry users a bracing message. You have a lot of opportunity to not die by not getting caught in avalanches. To promote backcountry safety, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center provides interactive avalanche maps and weekly forecasts. The slopes that have been safe to ride for the last few weeks may no longer be safe. Weather satellite imagery and geospatial databases of mountain terrain help forecasters predict avalanche risk. Forecasters also dig snow pits by hand. You can see the very large, weak depth hoar at the bottom of the snowpack. A faster way to get this data may come from laser-based LIDAR devices. It has a 10-kilometer range, and it can, it can survey 360 degrees. Kevin Hammonds is also researching a so-called smart probe. that has both a force resistance sensor and a near-infrared sensor in the probe, so that as you probe it through the snow, it's collecting all this data as it goes. No technology can predict every avalanche, so experts recommend safety classes and an avalanche beacon. It's a radio device that sends out a signal. Everybody in your group carries one. Uh, if somebody gets caught in an avalanche, the rest of the group can pick up that signal and locate that person. Even a seemingly small mistake can turn adventure into disaster. So Ethan Green adds this advice. The most important thing to do is to use the, the tech between your ears, um, which is your brain, to make good decisions and avoid those avalanche-prone slopes. And with the help of technology, winter sports lovers have a better chance of surviving on the slopes. For VOA News, Shelley Schlender in Boulder, Colorado.